I, uh, but Karen, give me the latest report of what's going on right now in the nation of Ukraine. Hi, everyone. I said, uh, well, uh, this is the seventh day of the war. I mean, real war, which is taking place in the nation of Ukraine with all its consequences, devastation, destruction, death, uh, casualties. Uh, but the good news is that our military, our army are standing and not only defending, but also in some places advancing right now. And the whole world is watching and in amazement of how Ukrainian army, which is smaller in numbers compared to the Russian invaders, and has less weaponry, but stands out against this big giant as Russia and its, and its evil attention, intentions. So, of course, you know, every war has its worst part of it. And it's, it's, you know, lost life, people in confusion, refugees. Uh, you know, they're, they're now hitting and shooting missiles into uh, residential areas, destroying buildings, destroying schools. In Kiev only, over 150,000 people sleeping in the subway. And in the last seven days of the war, over 47 children were born in the subways. I mean, despite of the death, war, devastation, and cal calamity, life are, are there. You know, kids are being born in subways in hidings there. So, yeah, that's what's happening right now. It's, it's a real war. Well, you know what's exciting me? No end. Anytime I see the hand of God in something, it excites me. I don't care how little or how big. I'm, I'm like a little kid. I get absolutely excited when I see the hand of God. And many years ago, uh, there were some major wars in Israel. Uh, and a friend of mine documented bona fide miracles that were happening because the situation was similar. Israel was surrounded by bigger armies, better prepared armies, more uh, equipment and tanks and everything. It, it's almost like the same thing is going on. And what I believe in Ukraine is the, the, the series was called Against All Odds of What Happened in Israel. Uh, and I'm going to call this Against all odds, Ukraine survives and thrives. Ukraine that's, that's exactly. survives yes. and thrives. And thrives. Well, I've known several stories in the last few days, and this is truly a miracle. You know, uh, we all know and we all heard the stories of the great, immense Russian army that is so in, in such a rise. But what's happening now is people praying. And all of a sudden, we hear the stories that Russian tanks stop in the middle of the field or somewhere near the Ukrainian village, and they ran out, ran, ran out of diesel, ran out of gas. And this is really amazes me because these guys were preparing for this war for many, many months. And in, incidents like that happen not once, many, many places. We hear the stories that they would run out of gas. Even one of their uh, missile, one of their ships in the sea ran out of fuel, and they were contacting the nearby passing by cargo ship uh, and asking them to help them with fuel. And they denied because they called, they said, you guys are aggression, you aggressive, you attack Ukraine, and we're not going to give you any fuel. So the Russian ship stuck in the middle of the sea and couldn't move. So, I mean, come on, it's the hand of God. You know, yeah, just the, the, the one that I received this morning uh, from uh, our, our brother, our dear brother, and you, you met him, Sid, it's our Zhenia Hitaev. He's our evangelist who does the power shows feats of strength evangelism. And uh, he called me today and he sent me some photos as uh, he was uh, going to uh, through the city where he lives. And his city was uh, attacked and bombed many, many times. And they are now surrounded. Well, he was driving on that city uh, on, the, on one of the streets. And then he says that he was driving back 30 minutes later. And he saw that the, the whole street with the buildings, with the hospital nearby, were, were, were just exploded and blown away by the rockets and missile attacks. I mean, it was all devastated. The whole street was basically gone. And he said, if I would have been there 30 minutes prior, he, would, he said, I wouldn't be talking to you, Karen. So that's really, I mean, another, another occasion of the hand of God being there and protecting our people who stuck there, who were not able to evacuate with their families, but God is doing miracle by protecting them. I mean, 
he just missed 30 minutes from here being hit by the rockets and, and that that whole street was gone um another tremendous miracle i received from one of the soldiers he's an officer he's a lieutenant in ukrainian army and he's a he's a brother from our church in odessa and uh he he, he called and he said that him and his men were sitting in hiding and they were looking out you know where would enemy come from where where would they attack and all of a sudden he says i'm sitting there in hiding and with my man he says and all of a sudden i start praying i just he said i felt the urgency to pray right now so he started praying and he heard god speaking to him and he said nazar that's his name nazar take your man and leave this place right now this very location and as soon as they did it as soon as he himself and his men relocated to another hiding place rockets and fire was open on that spot and that very spot was bombed and destroyed so it's it's amazing how god does miracles and protects and all the men who were there with him they uh before they were not really you know listening to the word of god they were not really paying attention to what he was saying about jesus but after that everybody started praying and asking the lord to come into their lives karen I've been getting pictures sent to me, reports that many Ukrainians are sighting angels. I mean, I had I got one on my cell phone. It was unbelievable. Uh, are you hearing many many saying they're seeing angels helping people and angels in the sky and in, in different places? Yeah, I heard a couple of them. I heard that people told me that they saw like in a shape of an angel in the sky. And at that very moment, they said that they were so encouraged and they felt someone's presence so tangible and comforting. And I believe God does that to encourage people in the times of you know difficulties and, and devastation like that, because a lot of people now are under fear and they don't know what will happen next day. But this is, I believe, those visitations are something that God speaks to them, that he cares about them, that he sends his angel to protect them. They, they, they felt the glory of or the goodness of God all around them. And if God, and this is a word for everyone viewing right now, if God is for you, and if you have come to have experiential knowledge that Jesus is your Messiah and Lord, who can be against you? That's what the word says. Nothing can be against you. Uh, Karen, but that all that is nothing compared to what we're about ready to release. Nothing. It, this, this got me so excited, Karen. Uh, you may not know this, uh, but for almost a year now, I've been talking about what I call the sunflower prophecy, the harvest that is about ready to hit planet Earth, and in particular, Israel, uh, a prophet who's a seer, that means they can see what's going on in the visible world, saw a field of sunflowers. And it was so long, this field, you couldn't see the end of it. And the sunflower field represented souls. And there will be billions of people born again all over the world. Well, here's what happened. I got an email uh, at home, and I found out something you could have told me, that the national flower of Ukraine is what? Sunflower. Isn't that amazing? And so it's, what that I'll, tells I'll me, it. let me tell you a couple of things most people don't know, Karen, about the sunflower. The only reason I know is I researched it. But the sunflower follows the sun. This will be a crop of believers that will not play games. They will say, Jesus, you are my Lord. Whatever you say, I am going to do, and I'll do it immediately. I'm waiting on instructions, and I know that the kingdom of God I am to enforce on earth, and no weapon formed against me will prosper, and I'm going to have the same type of glory, kavod, that Moses had. Uh, and, and people are going to see flames over their head. They're going, to, they're going to see clouds of glory over their head, just like Moses had to put a mask on uh, way before COVID because he was, people were afraid to see all the light 
that was on him. And there are going to be signs and wonders. Uh, and wonders is the key word. It's the operative word. There are going to be wonders that will cause the world to wonder. And, and the most impossible sunflowers are going to become blossoming. And this is what else I found about every single sunflower thrives almost anywhere it is. Every single, I mean, you don't have to do much work. Uh, and, and the sunflowers, every single one has between 1,000 and 2,000 seeds. That means, you know, Karen happens to, you don't know this, but happens to be a wonderful evangelist. In fact, you train Ukrainians on how to evangelize. You have schools of evangelism. Uh, That's uh, right. But uh, so everyone that you lead to the Lord, Karen, everyone that I lead to the Lord, everyone that those viewing leads to the Lord, they're going to have about a thousand to two thousand people just like themselves. So when I say billions of souls are about ready to come to planet Earth, I mean it. Now, the context for me of the sunflower video was Israel. And when I say Israel, I mean the nation Israel, but I mean the Jews that were scattered to the four corners of the earth. And I think it's unbelievable in Ukraine that you have so many Jewish people. Now, a whole group yeah. of Jews um, just went to Israel. How many are they taking? Do you know? Uh, I don't know the exact number, but I know I, many. I, I heard 10,000. Uh, but that's well. nothing. That's nothing compared to every no. other person in Odessa where you minister. Uh, every other person has Jewish ancestry. And and I think if yes. they did a proper DNA, they'd find it's even higher. Uh, yes. And, uh, but uh, so when I say I was called to Israel, that means I was called for the great harvest of Israel, the nation, and Israel, the Jews in the four corners of the earth. And you know what? When you reached out to the Jew throughout the world, you must go to the four corners of the earth. And I maintain what Paul maintained, what God the Father maintained, what the Messiah Yeshua, Jesus maintained. And that is by planting a seed with the Jew first, it's going to have the, a greater Gentile harvest. Paul put it this way. He said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel because the gospel Amen. is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. To the Jew first was not just the historical order, but God's supernatural spiritual law of evangelism. Uh, God is so, so brilliant, Karen. Uh, you have to excuse yes. but. There are, there's a generation here in America where I live that has been raised godless, has been raised yeah. without morals. Uh, I, I often wondered how uh, during the days of Hitler, so many really intelligent German people went along with him. It's called brainwashing. They've been brainwashed since they were pre-kindergarten. And there's a whole generation like that. And frankly, the devil's made his major stand. And it looks like he's winning. The devil has made his major stand in Ukraine. And it looks like he's winning. But God is getting ready to stand up right now. And devil, it's going to be your worst nightmare. Um, Karen, do you have any last word before we conclude? Yes, I'm, I want to say that really the sunflower image, it's so powerful. You know, every season uh, during the sunflower season, the fields are just, just, just so beautiful. And a lot of people just even driving and passing by, they would stop and take photos next to the field of sunflowers. And every time I would see this scenery, it speaks to me that this is the perfect picture of how the seed of the God's word, the gospel that you just mentioned, which we are not ashamed of, will impact thousands and millions of people. And it's truly indeed that Ukraine will be known by all the nations and Ukraine will become like that cornerstone from where all the seeds will spread and bring the revival into corner into the all corner, corners of the world. I believe so deeply. I, and and I, I found out another fact about sunflowers, Karen. 
Did you know that Ukraine is the number one supplier of sunflower oil, which is oil. used yep. for so many health benefits? I, I was I couldn't believe all the. But guess what? We have something better than the. Uh, we uh, I say Ukraine will not only be known for sunflower oil, but they'll be known for the sun, the son of the living God. Yeshua HaMashiach Sikhan, Jesus the Messiah. And if any of you, uh, well, there are probably a lot that have never had experiential knowledge of God, I, I tell you, God's presence is drawing closer than ever before, Karen, yes. ever before yes. in history. You told me about what's happening in a, in, in a situation where it's extremely fearful for people. It's life or death yes. critical, and they're feeling the presence and peace of God. You can't feel that unless God is there. And I want God to be that close to you that are viewing right now. If you will repeat this prayer with me out loud and mean it to the best of your ability, I tell you the greatest miracle possible will happen. You will be translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of the son of his love. Repeat this prayer out loud. Dear God, I'm a sinner. I'm so sorry. I believe the blood of Jesus washes away all my sins, and I am clean. It's so good to be clean, not because of anything I've done, but because of what you have done for me. I accept your gift. I accept your gift. Jesus, come and live inside of me. Be my Savior and my Lord. Amen. And may the shalom and the glory of God overtake you, Karen, your family, your extended Thank family, you. all the workers in Ukraine, that are sharing the gospel in schools and in streets and, and everyone that is watching. May the glory of God rest upon you and stay on you. The goodness of God is another name for the glory. Amen.